Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Melissa and for today's video, we are going to do my August favorites. I just want to show you some plants that I have been loving lately. It is another rainy, gloomy day here in Savannah, so I am just in a filming mood and the table is facing a different direction because the window wasn't helping me much with light anyway. So yeah, let's get started and let's show you some plant favorites for this month. Up first is going to be one of my Marantas and this is my Silver Band Maranta. It has a very unique pattern to it and it is growing so well for me. You can see up top how it has all that new growth. And this Maranta got shipped to me in the mail. I ordered this off Etsy and it was, I don't know, I think it had like maybe four or five leaves. It was really small. If I find a picture of what it looked like when I first bought it, I will put it on the screen for you. But I repotted this in a reel not too long ago for my Instagram. And this plant is absolutely loving the increased room to grow. I have like so much little spiky new growth and I cannot wait for this Maranta to get bigger, you guys. I can't like describe to you how beautiful the leaves are. They have this like light green center and a sheen to them. This is one of the most like beautiful Marantas I've seen. I really do want a black, a black Maranta. That would be a dream. And there's another one, a light veined Maranta. If I can get my hands on those two, I will be behind them. But I am happy, so happy with the way that this has been growing for me. And now that it's growing better, I've just been loving it lately and I can't wait for it to grow more. Next up is going to be my Pink Princess Philodendron. And I would say this is a favorite probably pretty recently. I just feel like it's growing a bit better for me and I just love how much pink this plant has. I don't know if you can tell from like all the pink behind me. But this is the newest leaf it just put out. This plant has amazing genetics and I've been getting so much pink on this plant. It did lose several bottom leaves, I think just from stress removing. And I'm, I think it's settled down. So yeah, I don't know. I just have been loving this probably over the course of the last couple weeks. I just feel like it's growing better and I'm really excited to see it grow and get bigger. It does have another new leaf kind of coming in on the way and it already, I can tell, has some good pink on it. Yeah, I'm just happy to see it growing better and it's doing better for me. And yeah, I can't wait to watch it grow more. And it's definitely been one that has been sneaking up on my favorite list. Look at the leaf on this thing. Do you see how big this leaf is? I measured it and it's about 12 inches in length. That's how big this leaf is. I'm not sure if I featured this one in my last favorites video. I'm going to have to check and look back and I actually think it may be giving me an inflow or starting to give me one or if it's or it's going to be another new leaf. So this this plant, uh, I will put a picture on the screen of how tiny this plant. It was a one tiny leaf seedling I got in a local Facebook group like way before I moved. It was last year sometime and it still has a few of these smaller leaves left. They are yellowing a bit. You can see there's like three, three of them. And then after I moved, I, you know, once I had my cabinet, it gave me this leaf here, which was pretty significant in size difference, you can see. So it definitely loved being in the cabinet. And then not too far after it gave me this one, which was even bigger. <laughs> and then it gave me this one, which was even bigger. And I'm like, holy moly, how much, bigger can these leaves get? And then this one was even bigger and I'm like, okay, that's amazing. And then this one came out and I was just like, I don't know, this has now become my favorite anthurium. I, for, I think I fe featured my forgetty eye and my forgetty eye has like an, in, has given me two inflows and I think it may be giving me another leaf soon, but this one I, I just definitely has become my favorite. I don't think I told you that what this one is. This one is a cross. It's a hybrid um, between a crystallinum and a magnificum. The veining on this is just stunning. I just love the velvety texture. Definitely has become my favorite and I am just going to be thrilled when another new leaf comes out. 
I upsized it, you know, at some point, and you can see there's so much root action going on in this container. I am getting some algae growth. This, this plant is under amazing grow lights in my cabinet. They are getting, I measured they are getting about 1450 to 1500 foot candles, which is amazing light for anthuriums. And it definitely shows because they are growing like crazy. I have slow release fertilizer in the soil. I've been watering my anthuriums about twice a week because it does get so hot in my cabinet and they just consume all the water so quickly. So they do get pretty thirsty and I make sure to keep them hydrated. I usually can tell by the moss on top if it starts to get dry and crunchy. And then I can kind of tell when the soil is getting dry. So I try not to let these get to a point where they dry out completely and I just keep them hydrated but yes this leaf is amazing and I honestly cannot wait until I get another leaf on this plant if it is even bigger I'm gonna run out of cabinet room for these guys like pretty quickly I think my cabinet is probably going to become an anthurium cabinet and I may end up taking one of the shelves out maybe <laughs> I don't know if my anthuriums get to be too large I would love to keep these in my cabinet as long as possible but I do have all my anthuriums on the top row and they're pretty squished in there. And some of the new leaves are very sensitive. If you didn't know, like sometimes new anthurium leaves don't like to be touched at all because as the leaf expands and hardens so quickly, those indentions can kind of cause deformity in the leaves. Or if they're touching another anthurium, I have some on my crystallinum that so many came out at once that they kind of got squished within one another. And so when they fully harden, they're kind of like bent a little. So I try not to touch new leaves now. I didn't realize some of them were that sensitive. And so if a new leaf is growing in and expanding, I just try and leave it alone. But I'm definitely going to have to configure out something for my cabinet and take some more plants out because my anthuriums are just getting too large too quickly. <laughs> but yes, this has definitely become my favorite anthurium and I love it. Next plant is going to be my philodendron Jose Bueno. And you guys, this plant I grew from a single leaf prop. This is actually the original leaf you can see right here. It is still remaining on the plant. And I will put a picture on the screen of the same original leaf when I first got it. This cutting, it did have some roots when I got it shipped in the mail, but it did have a little bit of root rot, which I had to treat and kind of reroot the plant in a way. And it took a long time for this plant to push new growth. Some of the newer leaves you can see, the new growth were super, super tiny. Like that was one of the new leaves. That one was a new leaf. Do you see how tiny that was? Cause this is a mid cut. And then it kind of got a little bit bigger as it grew. That was the, like a leaf after, then that one. Then it put out this cool like half moon leaf. And they just kept slowly getting bigger and bigger. And then sometime after I moved, this leaf grew. And this, this guy has been growing pretty steadily. I actually need to get him staked up because he is growing sideways now and I need to like stand him up properly so he can grow better. So that is a project I'm going to do. But child, stop digging the carpet. No, stop. And then let's see. Oh, this is one of the bigger leaves and I was just really impressed by the overall size. And then this one, <laughs> And then this one here is a new one that it's currently working on. And you can see that creamy like variegation there. But I would say this plant is growing a new leaf of maybe every three weeks or so. It's growing pretty steadily and it's slowly becoming one of my favorites. I just love how like chonky the stem is getting and just how fast it's growing. It's been so easy care for me as well. I just water it when it's mostly dry and it hasn't you know, given me any issues. I know this plant can get huge, you guys. So I don't know what I'm gonna do because it's going to outgrow you know, its space very quickly. It's gonna have to have like its own stand to itself. But yeah, I've been loving this plant and I just love the variegation and the colors. Mine is more of like a creamy, like white color. I haven't seen, this leaf is a little bit more on the white side. But yeah, I've, I've seen these like get pretty variegated and some cool like leaf pattern, but yeah, it's definitely been one that's been growing on me lately because of these like new leaves that have grown and the overall size. And especially because since I grew this plant from such a tiny little cutting, it makes me so happy to see like this plant is 
grown from that one little leaf. So yeah, I honestly just can't wait to see this plant grow even more for me and I'm just really excited for it. Next up is going to be my one of my Hoyas. I actually have about 30 Hoyas in my collection and I feel like I don't really feature or show them enough, but this one probably within like the past week has been growing on me even more. I've always loved this Hoya. It's always been one of my favorites and it recently bloomed for me. I'll put some pictures on the screen for you. And all of the peduncles died and I actually have all new growth coming back in on the old peduncles. They're all like forming again. So they're, it's gonna bloom for me again. And I even have some new growth coming in with some peduncles forming on it down here. So I'm probably gonna have like another six or seven or eight blooms. There's so many peduncles growing back in on this one. There's another one there. But yeah, this plant, I have, I keep it in my window and it gets sun stressed being like so up close in the window. You can see that beautiful color on this Hoya. It is gorgeous. <laughs> I just think that sun's dressing is so beautiful. This Hoya has been so easy care. It's one of the easier ones in my opinion. It doesn't give me any trouble. I water it as soon as the soil is dry. It is a bit of a thinner leaf Hoya in my opinion, and it does get very like soft and wrinkly when it's thirsty. So I do give this one more water more often than some of my other ones. Yeah, I can't wait to watch this one grow more and I'm just really excited about this Hoya. It's definitely one that I recommend if you are looking to get a new Hoya. If you can find a Hoya Sunrise, the color is beautiful if you sun stress it and the blooms are beautiful and they smell kind of fragrant and yeah, it's definitely one that I've been loving and yeah, I'm happy that I have this one. This is my Epipremnum Marble Queen that is on a moss pole and it is very, very tall. It's, it's probably like five feet almost the height of it and you can see this is the newest leaf that just unfurled and this one here. It is growing very steadily and sizing up very nicely. The vine is getting super chonky and it is on one of my plastic poles, which I'm going to do the same thing to this one that I did with my Adansonii. I'm going to chop it. I have like an all, I'm trying not to like get this too high so it doesn't hit my ceiling fan, but I have three vines total. This one on this side is more of like a snow queen and there's one in the middle that's more, more marbly. And for some reason, this middle vine just like took off a lot faster. I've noticed with a lot of my moss poles, one vine just shoots out and grows a lot faster than the rest of the plant, which is kind of nice in a way that it is that it does grow fast. But then it's like it takes a while sometimes for the other vines to catch up. And I don't know. And if you go to chop the pole, I want to have as many vines as I can to fill the pole out. So I think by the time I'll have to extend, so I can't extend this one anymore since it's plastic and I do want to get it onto metal. So I think I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did with my Adansonii is right here where I had extended the pole before I'm going to cut here and I have the other two vines aren't quite caught up to this middle section yet. So I'm hoping they'll catch up by the time this guy <laughs> reaches the top. Yeah, just as of recently, because the, the leaves are sizing up nicely, it's become one of my favorites this past like week or two. And I'm really excited for the growth and the increase in size. I think this, this leaf here, this latest leaf measured about seven inches. And so this one is still hardening. So I imagine this one's probably gonna be a little bit bigger. Yes, I love this pole and I'm really excited to watch it grow more. Okay, I just made a huge mess. This is one of the newest ones that I added back in. I had to redo this pole and it's not rooted in here yet. And I tried to lift it up with the pole like I normally do and the whole thing came spilling out. I've done this like three times and I've spilled this plant like three times and I don't think I'm learning. So this I've talked about on my channel before, one of my favorites, this is my Epipremnum Panatum Albo. And I ended up taking my regular pot that I had and I had already taken cuttings to do on the pole, but I recently added back in the main pot so that I just have one plant because it was starting to grow these fenestrations 
and it just got to be so beautiful in that I wanted the actual main plant to start climbing because I didn't just want to have just the cuttings anymore. So yeah, I don't know. I just love this plant. I love everything about it. And I know I probably talked about this one recently, but I just wanted to show you again. It's definitely <laughs> becoming one of my favorite plants and I can't wait to watch it climb. Since I added in this part of my main plant, it was like a top cut. So it is going to continue pushing out and growing even faster because it had like a pretty good root system versus all these cuttings on the bottom are taking a bit to establish because a lot of these were mid cuts, if that makes sense. So sometimes when you're doing a pull, if you have a plant that's pretty rooted already, it doesn't take that long before it starts to push new growth. It all depends on the actual like plant that you put in here. But yeah, a lot of these are starting to push up little new growth. A lot of the mid cuts and then this top one is going to be growing a lot faster and <laughs> this newest leaf is still hardening a bit but it is fenestrated and hopefully it continues to get bigger and bigger leaves and I'm really excited for this one. It's definitely one of my up and coming poles that I can't wait to watch grow. And then I just wanted to end this on this plant. This has become one of my favorites probably within like the last, I don't know, several days. It did give me this beautiful new perfect leaf. This is my philodendron gloriosum. I did repot this plant, talk about this plant on my channel before. This plant I've had for a year and a half and it struggled in my care, it was shipped to me and has gone through root rot. I've like chopped this plant before, rerooted it and it just, I've done so much with this plant and it's finally, finally growing better. It actually came down with thrips pretty bad and you can see the thrip damage on this leaf here. And I'm pretty sure the thrips are gone now. I haven't seen any more thrips on this plant, but I ended up keeping two of the leaves that were covered in thrips. This one was covered in thrips as well. I've been chopping a lot of my thrip damaged leaves off to reduce spread, but I just felt like the plant really needed probably the energy from these leaves. So I'm keeping an eye on it. You know, I'm hoping I don't have any thrips come back on this plant or like rehatch. This leaf here got kind of wonky. It unfurled weird, which I thought maybe was from thrips. But yeah, this newest leaf is perfect and it makes me happy to see this plant growing back better. I have him in the six inch and he's going to probably reach the end of this within like, a few more leaves. So I'll probably eventually have to take him out of this pot, but I'm gonna let him get rooted and situated and stay in here as long as possible because I'm really excited that this new leaf is as big and as healthy as it is. And it makes me happy because I love Philodendron Gloriosum. Even though it's a bit of a difficult plant to care for, I just love the pillowy leaves. I love the veining. It's definitely a plant that I got a long time ago because I really loved it and makes me sad that it struggled so much in my care, but I'm really happy to see it growing back for me. At least this leaf is perfect. Yeah, I just can't wait for this plant to grow more and I can't wait to see another leaf on this one. It just makes me happy to see it come back. So that is it. That is my August favorites. Of course, all the ones I showed last month are still some of my favorites and I love all of my plants, but these ones really have spoken to me this past month or so, even in like the last couple weeks. Yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see the new growth and the progression that some of these plants continue to make. And I can't wait to see the progression that some of my other moss poles will make this, this next month. And even though we're slowly going to be creeping into fall, I still hope I get some great growth. There's still plenty of growing season left. So yeah, I just can't wait for even more growth. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you all again soon.